What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. We're coming to you live from the Chevy Traverse. Gunner, are you liking the Traverse a little bit better than my truck? Now that like the work for it orders can have a spot here, you can have a spot in the back. I think it's still too early for Gunner. He doesn't want to talk to us right now. Now, believe it or not, I actually don't hate this thing. Um, the old Chevy Traverse here is kind of nice. It's not too small, which is what I worried about. Like it's actually got a decent sized feel to it. Part of me is like, maybe I should just keep this thing for two weeks until the Ford's done. Well, scratch keeping the Traverse plan. Just got off the phone with Enterprise. They want a thousand dollars for two weeks of rental on that thing. Yeah, we ain't got that kind of money. So it's a very good thing that the BBB was designed and built to be a reliable daily driver because well, this is going to be my new daily driver for the next two weeks. And I'm hoping today we can actually go uh, order some tires for the 26 inch wheels here. That way the SEMA Tahoe is one step closer to being done. I'm still waiting on the grill to come back from the painter. We should have had it yesterday. So I'm anticipating any minute now, I'm gonna get a call saying that the, uh, the grill is ready. But the main reason we're filming today is you guys haven't seen my dad's Kodiak on the channel in a long time. Um, some of you guys even kind of forgot that it was a thing. So the Kodiak was built 14 years ago uh, by presence. So you can hear the BBB running outside. Old Papa Rhino is driving that right now. I'm gonna be taking the Traverse over back to Enterprise. Ah, oh, it's always weird seeing somebody else drive the truck. Let's see how it looks in the camera. Oh, geez, focus, focus. Look at that nice front end. Well, bye Traverse, it's been fun. I'm sure my dad's enjoying uh, driving this thing in this narrow parking lot over here. Man, does it feel good to be back up in the air driving the BBB. Um, I gotta say though, I didn't hate that Traverse. Outside wise, not the best looking vehicle. Would I ever buy a Traverse? Absolutely not. But like, I didn't really have any complaints driving it. And you guys know that's rare for me. But I do have one big complaint and I just noticed it. It's on the BBB here. I'm about to introduce you guys to one of the worst type of people out there. Last weekend, I took my truck to uh, Red Bull Straight Rhythm and parked it out in the parking lot. A lot of you guys came up to me. Uh, you guys want to see the truck. That was absolutely awesome. A lot of people were Snapchatting the truck or uh, posting on Instagram. Super cool. Then you get this type of person, which I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but you guys can clearly see there is a... Uh, perfect outline of a van's shoe on my wheel and I'm telling you the absolute worst type of people out there are people that don't care about other people's stuff what kind of moron thinks it's a good idea to step on a wheel like how does it not go through your head that my shoe that clearly has rocks in the bottom of it on nice black paint is going to scratch I don't understand how people miss that but apparently there's people out there that are that dumb and it just whoosh, goes right over top. So to the idiot that stepped on my wheel, uh, yeah, thanks bro, really appreciate it. We'll get uh, Josh or Nick or somebody out here and polish out the uh, scratches. But anyways, what we're working on today, we've got our man Sergio over here. Sergio, you, you hear Sergio? Sergio, we found Sergio. What's up, Sergio? So if you guys remember, Sergio did Chris's light, uh, his light bar behind his grill. We didn't get a whole lot of chance to talk to Sergio because we were like running around doing a million things that yeah. day, but what are we doing today, Sergio? It looks like we need to update a little bit the lights that we have. Um, they were a little bit, bit up and not as bright as, as the new LEDs that we have right now. And make them flash also. So we're gonna put internal flasher and everything was gonna look nice whenever everything is turned on. So this truck was built, like I was saying earlier, 14 years ago by Prestons. And back then, LED lighting had just come out. It was super expensive. But my dad wanted a ton of lighting. Like, you know, he's like me. He likes to kind of pimp out his vehicles. So he had a ton of LED lights all around the truck. And well, even though they claim LED lights last forever, they don't last forever. They've uh, slowly been burning out to where some of the uh, actual LEDs in each one of these is uh, like burning out, whatever. So you don't get like full lit. Plus he had some uh, bed lights up there for uh, helping us load up stuff at night for our dirt bikes and stuff like that when we'd be at the track. And those are all halogen. So what well, Sergio kind of has his work cut out for him today, <laughs> and I think three days, right, is what you're gonna be working on this thing? It's a lot of time. <laughs> Don't look too excited, Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm excited about it, but I mean, but it's gonna take some time. How many lights total? Did you remember the count? Uh, about 36. 36 yeah. LEDs total. total. And then we've got these strips that you pulled all the strips off already? Yeah. So there were strips that went below these doors, which are sitting right here. And basically these were fabbed up to hold all of these little LED lights. But being that these brackets, their little mounting brackets are plastic, uh, they never fully seated right on the diamond plate. And then eventually these light caps would end up popping off left and right. So over the years, we've always had issues with having to replace these lights or you know, you'll find one that's about to pop off and you gotta keep pushing all the lenses back on because the actual LED is like built into the lens, you can see right there. So it's just been an absolute pain in the butt. And I think my dad's over dealing with that. So he's upgrading here to uh, 
I mean, this is quite the upgrade. He's running the Phoenix Light Bar, which is this is very similar to the Light Bar behind Chris's grill, right? Yeah. Right. So, so it's really bright. His marker lights are going to be essentially a Light Bar you put behind your grill, <laughs> but they're going to be amber, right? Uh, we were looking for a solution because we wanted to retain these plates that we have here. And Sergio kind of came up with, instead of putting a bunch more little LEDs, let's just go crazy with it and put one full light bar underneath each door. That's going to be nuts. And we're going to make really these nice. strobe too, right, with all yeah. the other lights? So it's going to look really, really nice. You will see at the end. So what we're going to do is put this ones and put it as a theme mode where, where you can use it as marker lights steady on. And with a flip of a switch, you can turn it on and make it flash all at the same time. Gotcha. So you have dual functionality, and now it's just gonna be brighter. What are the what are the lumens on these? Do you know? Uh, it's about 800 per module. Um, are we sure we're putting it on dim mode? Let's just crank it up. Let's just have the brightest marker lights I out mean, there. If you want, if you guys want it, I can do it. So one of the things we need to do today as well. Um, is these things are kind of beat up so instead of repolishing the diamond plate because really the light bar hides most of it that's going to be going over top we're going to opt to get these powder coated so we're going to run up to swift powder coating today and get those powder coated and then eventually we need to powder coat the entire steps because like i said this truck was built 14 years ago so all the powder coating on the steps is kind of just like worn off i mean the truck is held up pretty well for being how old it is but it could use some updating and this is kind of one of the the first steps is getting all the lighting done and then like I think, like door panels need to be replaced. You know, it's just, it is a work truck. It gets used every day. We could use a new air ride seat, but essentially, like I said, I mean, the truck has held up really well for being how old it is. And back when we were younger, you know, my dad would throw all of us in here, take us all to the dirt bike track and stuff. So having a bunch of kids bouncing around on this thing, it's pretty nice. We're going to run up to our buddies over at Swift Powder Coat. We're gonna take those, uh, step pieces right now that way we can keep Sergio going and not hold him up but we made it up to Swift you guys may remember they pulled off the miracle on the Banks diff cover that we had installed they literally powder coated and sanded off the Banks logo for me in like no time I think total start to finish ended up being like two or three hours that they did that for me and I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you guys or not but Banks is actually releasing a version of their diff cover exactly how I did it I opted to not sand off the the fins like every other diff cover does i didn't like that look so they're going to release uh, a blacked out version just like the one i have right here with just the banks logo kind of sanded off there don't worry the shop runs great when you're not here sorry <laughs> and actually i think it runs better when you're here said, maybe i should go well yeah when you're here it's a 12 hour turnaround time they did that in a two hour turnaround time <laughs> All right, well, we got the parts chopped off. Hopefully we have those back. Finally, today I'm getting out of somewhere before traffic starts to hit, so that'll be nice. We're gonna run back down and see how Sergio's doing on the uh, Kodiak. Looks like Sergio's making good headway of pulling all the old lighting out, figuring out what was tied into like actual brake lights, what was actual turn signals, what was just running lights. We had a quite the little setup back here, so obviously you don't wanna run everything as one brake light or anything like that. So I think what we're gonna end up doing is these four right here are going to be brake lights and turn signals. Same with this side, and then the middle little T right here, these are just going to be full-time running lights. And then the red ones you see up top over there, those are also going to be brake lights. Normally when you're, uh, you know, putting new lights on the truck, you can kind of use the existing wiring, but Sergio's going to be basically putting a new strobe controller in for all the lights. Like, my dad on this truck wants all the lights to strobe, whereas in the past, only the lights up here, which were the old turn signals, they used to actually replace with new uh, turn signals. But these had, like, the old-school... Um, I don't even know what it's called. Not halogen. The fluorescent strobe? Oh yeah, fluorescent. It was a fluorescent uh, strobe? Incandescent. Now we're replacing everything with LED. Those lights were already replaced with LEDs right now. So what do we got here for uh, strobe controller, PA? What's going on with this? Okay, so we have a um, control system, which is this one. We have a PA, a 100 watt speaker. With that, that way he can speak outside and give orders outside, move away, whatever. And it will have all the controllers through here. So that way he can turn on the, the strobe lights, the... Um, the work lights on the back, on the front, and we have another flasher which make all the regular marker lights. We'll make them flash too. So at the end, you will have marker lights normally, and with a flip of a switch, you will have all flashing lights. And so this is the Phoenix controller. So this just tethers into the truck. I don't know if you guys watched my Instagram the other day, you might have seen me playing with mine. Um, but you don't have to wire anything to the dash. You didn't want a control module in the dash because basically if you look at the dash of the Kodiak, you've got preset spots for switches. Um, these are all already taken and then they basically use like the blanks over here. They have LED lights in them. I don't know if it'll come on right now. There you go. To let you know that that light is on. Um, my dad didn't want to tap into any of this. So that controller that Sergio has back there 
is actually on like a corded tether. So it'll essentially be similar to his uh, switch right here for the, the PTO for the dump bed. And it's all getting mounted. We're gonna mount it down here yeah. on the back wall. This will be removed because it's the old version strobes. They consume more power and there's not as bright as LEDs. So now we're gonna remove this one. We'll put this amplifier there. And this will have all the relays and control for, for the lights. And then if you guys didn't know, uh, Old Pops has a sound system in the Kodiak. I know it's hard to see. I believe there's two 12s and a box underneath the seat, plus his amps back there. How it stands up to today's audio stuff. I don't know if Wes would be impressed on how many ferrets are coming out of that, but this thing used to bump back in the day for what it was. Now the old lights only had two screws on them. These new ones have four rivets, so. More work. You're gonna have some tired hands, huh? I mean, we might have found our excuse to buy the Milwaukee rivet gun that I've been looking for. Um, otherwise, yeah, I feel bad for my man over here using this one. This is, this is gonna suck. So we'll check back in with Sergio in a minute here. We've got our good buddy Chris. Chris, say hi to the channel. What's going on? What are you, Al Borland over there now? How do you know? Jealous? Yeah, I'm yeah. good. <laughs> so we're gonna roll with Chris right now. Uh, we're trying to work a deal on some tires for the Tahoe. And uh, Chris, you got me? I got you. All right, Chris says he's got me. I mean, you got my money for the couch? You got that money? I mean, I got to give a huge shout out to you guys for getting the likes up on that last video. Because, uh, what did you get? 4,000 likes. Like, we don't we don't usually get 4,000 likes on a video, but you guys did it. I'm not sure if it's because you wanted to force Chris to pay for uh, the couch, because you don't like him, or because you love Chris and you just, you know, wanted to give him the likes that he was looking for. He said, what if I get you some tires for free? Is what? it like, even out? All right, if you give me free tires, you don't have to pay for the couch. Okay. And if this video gets well, like, 5,000 likes. Oh, well, like almost free. How about almost free? Almost free. That's not free. I need here now that the lighting's a little better. You guys can see just how bad that footprint is. You can see all the scratches. I don't know how that guy did. Whoever the f stepped on this thing. Ah, oh, I hate people. You don't have to buy me a couch if you buy me a new wheel. You got four new wheels sitting in the warehouse. That's true. Let's watch Chris work his magic. Courtney Tire. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, we fixed it. Well, I'll be damned, Chris. You pulled it off again, buddy. Look at that. Got to give a huge thank you to Courtney's Tires. Um, they ordered tires for us. We will be getting them tomorrow. So it was tough. It's hard to find anybody that has 295s or 305s. We opted to go 295, 30, 26s. So we found a set that can be here tomorrow. Hopefully in the next day or so we get the wheels mounted. And then we're just one step closer to getting the Tahoe done. Why are you looking like you're falling asleep? I'm tired, dude. Well, I thought today's video was going to be heavily focused on stuff we're doing at the Kodiak. But it seems like we're doing a lot more driving around. We've made it back over here to Chemical Guys because apparently uh, Chris is a bad son and didn't get his dad a, a birthday gift. His birthday's today, so I guess we're going... Happy birthday, Dad. Oh yeah, I forgot he watches the channel. Uh, I swear Chris planned this out in advance. What's up, dude? What's up? I brought Chris back. He's looking for more stuff. He wants to spend more money. What'd you sell him on? I mean, I see we got all kinds of stuff over there. It must be nice, you know, when I was buying a bunch of stuff the other day, Chris didn't want to pull out his wallet, but all of a sudden we're spending a lot of money today. For my dad, man. There you go. Oh, three pack of bottles? Yeah, and then we got quick detailer right there. No, I want to smell this one. Can you open this one? It's the same thing as honeydew. I seriously want to like, exactly I want to eat that. Thing. Yeah, right? Yeah. Tell me you don't want to eat that, right? <laughs> All right, Chris spent enough money. I get to spin the wheel again. Let's see. Oh, wait for it. Oh, bro, I got you bacon scent. You can get any. You can get anyone you want. Do you have one that smells like bacon? Nah, dude. That's give, give him a bacon one. Chris, you don't want the bacon one? Nah, man. Yeah, this is JDM. Squash scent. Yeah. Does squash it smell good? So we we've smelt on tap. That smells like old beer cans left in your uh, car. Probably not a good idea to spray in your car. Fresh cut grass, a little funky. New car smell. The fresh glazed donut smells way too realistic. We got stripper scent. All right, I want to smell stripper scent. Oh, dude. Yeah, get them stripper scent, dude. Smell like a stripper? I don't know what a stripper smells like, but that, that, I believe you. All right, well, we are back at the warehouse again, thankfully. Um, I feel like we got a lot accomplished today, though. Somehow, Sergio squeezed my dad's truck into his warehouse. His warehouse is smaller than ours, so I don't know how he pulled that off, but well done, Sergio. Um, let's see, we got tires for the Tahoe ordered. We just set up a date to get the Tahoe tinted, so that is awesome. Hopefully, we have the powder coating back for my dad's truck uh, in the next day or so. Chris got his dad some birthday presents, and I think he's shopping a little bit more. I love French fries. Uh, what are you doing, dude? You shopping in here? Yeah, dude, you know. Everybody else does it, so why not me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. You know your dad watches these videos, right? Well, yeah. He's gonna know you put minimal effort into his Christmas present or birthday present. He knows. 
Oh, he knows? He knows, yeah. he knows you put minimal effort? <laughs> as long as I get him a card, you're good. Oh. Well, only one year I forgot to give him a card, dude. He was so pissed. The card's the ticket? The card's the ticket. Well, that, that, bro, here. You want me to fold a piece of paper in half? We'll do a handmade card. We can, like, stamp your hand on it. Well, I kind of want Wes to sign it, too. Oh, you want Wes to sign it? Yeah. All right, what do we got, Chris? Looks like you're, uh... Oh, oh. oh. I think we're taking care of your dad's birthday. We got your stepdad's birthday, and then no, uh, that's, that's just my stepdad's birthday. That is your stepdad's no, birthday. You're giving him. Oh, I'm giving birthday. him that. All right, perfect. Uh, do I need to get him a card? You should. Man. I should get him a card. Yeah. All right, and then it looks like you got yourself a shirt there. I did, man. All right, well, with that, guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out WorkForApparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work it. But. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the outro! Chris, you're supposed to say work for it. You've been on the channel for essentially as long as the channel's been around. You're not supposed to be the guy to screw it up. No, we were on the work for it part. Oh, you just gotta work for it, man. Oh, okay. Uh, now you wanna roll the outro? You want you want another ping pong ball to roll the outro? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.